What's with the hand signals, dude? Wakanda forever! Why? Look at this thing. It's got Black Panther vibes written all over it. Yeah, fair enough. Look, you guys have been asking for it, so today we are looking at the Victor Ryuga Ryuga 2. So just a gentle reminder that we assess rackets on four main metrics with a score out of 10. These are feeling and handling, control, power, and speed. The Ryuga 2 is described as a head-heavy racket with an extra stiff shaft designed for the offensive player to deliver massive power. It contains three main technologies. The first one is the Victor Free Core technology, which means a hollow handle core to reduce shock and vibration. Also has the anti-torsion enhancement to improve shot stability and a new hybrid material utilizing a special weaving technique to help players produce more power. Now we tested the 4U or 83 gram version strung with x 65 at 28 pounds. So, what do we think? We like this one. Not just because it was released around the same time as Black Panther 2, it's just a really solid racket. It does feel really smooth to the air, but it definitely doesn't feel as stiff as you might think from the original description. It feels somewhere between stiff and extra stiff, but wouldn't say it's like really, really stiff. Mm. Its control is pretty effortless through all range of shots and is relatively repulsive, so you might need a bit of time getting used to it. But for a stiff racket, it's pretty forgiving and pretty consistent. As we tested the 4U version, we weren't expecting to have really explosive smashes, but it wasn't bad at all. We could definitely generate some power pretty easily. Maybe it's the new hybrid material. Now, as for speed, it does pretty well for a head heavy racket as well. You can definitely maneuver the racket quickly enough to handle fast exchanges. And looks, I think we've made it pretty clear. We like it. We like Black Panther. Yeah, we do. We do. And the color pattern with the purple, it's probably just the purple, makes me mm. remember, reminds me of the Tectonic 9 racket. Mm. I didn't get to see that one. Yeah. So, for our ratings, for feeling and handling, we gave it an 8 out of 10. For control, we gave it 8 out of 10. For power, an 8 out of 10. And lastly, for speed, 7.5 out of 10. And that gives us 31.5 out of 40. So maybe it's not twice as good in ratings as the Ryuga one, but it's definitely an upgrade from it. For sure. So who's it for? It's for all you Black Panther fans out there that are generally speaking intermediate to advanced. A beginner could consider this because it's relatively forgiving for a stiff racket, but definitely think this one through if you're a rookie. Yeah, probably a little bit stiff for a beginner racket still. Yeah. But I would say it's probably most suitable for a rear court doubles player or a singles player, especially if you can generate like a good whip on your swing, kind of like Lizzie Jar from Malaysia. It's probably not the best for front court doubles players, but it could still work. Yeah. So how much are we talking for this one? Well, this one will set you back around 270 Australian dollars. And based on this and how it plays, should we try, should we buy or deny? We think buy if you prefer Victor Rackets or you're thinking of an upgrade from the Ryuga. Otherwise, it's a definite try. Yeah, it's pretty good. But if you want an even more forgiving racket that is still powerful and less heavy on the wallet, then you need to do yourself a favor and check out our Velat Havoc S1. Get one now using the link below. And that's it from us. Wakanda forever! forever.